Hey, y'all. Thanks for stopping by tonight. I'm going to give you a crock pot homemade chili pie. Down here in Texas, it's 100 degrees today. My nephew would say I'm crazy for making chili, but my daughter had chili pie the other night, so I thought I'd do it. If you got hungry for it, we're going to do it in a crock pot. Easy, delicious. Let's get started. Now, in a hot pan, add some olive oil. We're going to saute some onions for about three to five minutes. Just pour them puppies in there, stir them around. Doesn't take long to take care of that. Once they start turning color, add your ground beef. I'm using ground chuck 80-20. Seems it's a little still a little bit frozen. But anyway, salt and pepper it. And when your ground beef turns brown, go ahead and add your spices. And that's listed in the description box below. Just click that more button. It'll tell you all you need to make this dish. But anyway, stir that around until it's well incorporated. Turn off the heat, set it aside, then pour it in the bottom of your crock pot. Then we're going to add some uh, Rotel Maters, some Mater sauce, and some ranch style beans. I've started using this in my chili. Man, I tell you what guys, this really gives chili a great taste. Anyway, stir that around. Make sure it's well combined. Put a cover on it, set it to low. Now I'm going to cook this for about eh, five to six hours. Now, during the last 15-20 minutes, go ahead and take your cover off. Now, what I'm going to do here is, you know how you normally make chili pie in the oven where you layer the ingredients? Well, you can't do that in a crock pot, so what I'm going to do is do it this way. Just add some grated cheese, stir it around, and then take about a half a bag of Fritos corn chips. Put a good bit in there, stir that around, make sure it's well mixed. This is going to give us that layered effect once we bowl it up. Anyway, stir that around. Then, what I want to do next is put a cover on it. Let it cook 15, 20 more minutes. Now, the last five minutes, I want to take the cover off again. Top this with more grated cheddar cheese. Cook it about five more minutes until it's melted and it looks like this here. And there you go. Crock pot homemade chili pie. God, don't use that canned stuff. Make your own chili. It's real easy to do. It's a lot better than what you get in a store. But anyway, bowl it up, top it off with some crisp corn chips and some more cheese if you like. Throw some chives on there and some chopped onion. There you go. Serve it up. Great any time of the year. I love it. You'll love it. This is such an easy recipe. But guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you think. I really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, y'all.